At the heart of true biblical missions is the willingness to die to the cravings exploited by prosperity preachers. Hear that? At the heart of true biblical missions is the readiness, willingness to die to the cravings exploited by prosperity preachers. At the heart of true biblical missions is an eagerness to live simply and give lavishly. Not live lavishly. Do you share that, senders? Or have you been caught up more and more and more stuff The more you make, the more you buy, right? Wrong. The more you make, the more you give. Right? True biblical missions has at its heart suffering. Not simply as a result of faithful proclamation, but a means to faithful proclamation. God has ordained, according to Colossians 1.24, that the suffering of his emissaries will be his sufferings for others to see and know how much they're loved. There's no option. We suffer or we're not faithful. That's the calling Take up your cross. Follow me. It's a Calvary road. Through many afflictions, we must enter the kingdom. If you live a godly life in Christ Jesus, you will be persecuted. If they call the master of the house Beelzebul, what will they call his servants? There is no option. We don't preach comfort. We preach not prosperity. When Jesus calls a man, he bids him come and die. It's extremely hard to be a Christian in America, let alone be a missionary who leaves America. 